Audio Jungle. The entertainment world is full of juicy and trendy stuff this and every day and that is why some more entertainment news is here for you. We bring you the juicy and the trendy news in the entertainment world. So get updated with us on our social media handles that is Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel and also log on to our website www.samvo.org. We have a set of news for you today and Ibo one set to marry next week. Isaac Dobis calls 2020 after knocking O-Take. Telewater Festival will get 300,000 support from government. Beyonce and Jay-Z's concert interrupted by a fan. Kanye West surprises Kim Kardashian West with a brand new $240 Mercedes neon track. Drake brings out Tori Lynette at New York City. Jeremy and T.Y. Dollar Sign features Lil Wayne on New Level. And Lil Wayne brings out Nicki Minaj and accepts Batman's apology at Lil Louisiana Festival. There's many more news we have coming your way. Stay tuned. Let's go for a quick commercial break. Who is your best parent in the world? Mommy! Frosty Bite Ice Cream for the love of ice cream. Welcome back from that commercial break. You're still getting updated from some work entertainment news right here, and it's Monday's edition for you. Going straight to our first story Ibra wants set to marry next week. After a topsy turvy year, which included dealing with police cases and other issues, Ibrawan is set to end on a positive note with a wedding. The affluent businessman is set to get married to a former beauty queen, Dija Lavelle, in a super exclusive ceremony to be held next week. According to sources, the couple has been dating for a while and they even have four children and they have now decided to take this huge step Together, La Belle arrives in the country early next week for the wedding, which comes up later on this week. Congrats to everyone and his lovely bride to be La Belle. We wish you guys all the best. And finally, everyone is out of the market with all the riches, with all the good looks. Gosh, this man is off the market. So, Ghanaian ladies, this is another one for you. Everyone is off the market stay away he's about to get married moving on to the next though we isaac dog base course 2020 after knocking out all take Ghana's Isaac Dobe, aka the Royal Storm, has called out fellow title holders Ray Vargas and Danny Bowman after his first his first title defense against Haydenori all take of Jay Pine. Now I want the I want to face all the chance Let's do this. I'm ready to unify all the titles, he said. I want all the champions out here. Ray Vargas, Danny Roman, step up to the plate. Let's make this happen. They should come forward and make a great fight. Champions fight with the best. Dobie's first title defense couldn't have really gone any better as he stopped Japanese veteran Hidnori Otek in the first round, retaining the WBO Super Bantam weight title. Otek went down twice before the contestant was waved off in the first round. Dobe blasted down Otek with a good look in the second minute of the first. Otek made it up, but another series of shots made his gloves touch the mat for the second knockdown and another flurry of big shots forced the referee to step in and wave off the fight. Ote has never been um, has, has never been stopped before in his career. His last defeat came in 2014 when he lost a 12-round decision to then 
WBA champion Scott Quigg. So I'll take it acting all the big time boxes to come. The we have he called out for he, um after defeating Hinori Ote, he's calling out for Wade Vargas and Danny Roman to come to face him because champions should fight with the best. And according to him, he is the best. So he's calling out to those champs to fight him the best. Congratulations to you again, dog. But this was a very good one you did. Moving on, Chalawata Festival gets 300,000 Ghana CD support from government. The Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture has supported the 2018 Charlie Water Street Arts Festival with Ghana City 300,000. This was confirmed by a, commun a communique from the Information um, Ministry. The 8th annual Charlie Water Street Arts Festival has been ongoing in Accra and it just ended yesterday, that is Sunday. Over 125 Ghanaian artists, community artists and international collectives have passed through exhibiting works in Jamestown and venues across the city. Otto Blue Home Square has been hosting all the performances artwork at the festival. The 2018 audition of the festival was themed Para Other. Para Other is a translative shortwave that transcends languages and geography. The Chalawati Street Art Festival is an alternative art platform that brings art, music, dance, and performance out into the street. So you really missed a big one if you couldn't attend this uh, the eighth edition of Chalawati. We just ended yesterday. Personally, I was there, and you know the creativity. All the exhibitions were so the, it was like creativity at its best. You would see a lot of creative handmade stuff, you know, and all from Ghana and um the world right and please if you lost it, make um make it a point to be at the ninth edition next year. Beyonce and Jay Z's concert interrupted by a fun. The couple on the ranks to tow stop in Atlanta came to a frightening conclusion when a fan rushed on the stage and attempted to chase down the couple. As the cutters finished performing their joint song F Shit at the Mercedes Bank Stadium that is on Saturday night, the fan identified as the 26 year old Anthony Charles Thomas Maxwell ran onto the stage and attempted to follow the artist backstage. The show's back backup dancers stood in confusion before running to help security guards then tackled Maxwell to the ground. He was reportedly detained by the police and written up for this orderly conduct before being released. Beyonce's publicist, Vert Noel Scar, wrote on Instagram Sunday morning that the couple is fine and looking forward to their second show tonight at the Mercedes Benz Stadium. So that is today they're just gonna continue. We know this power couple, they always stay strong and this is another symbolic one that is showing her, us how strong they are. As even after all that happened to Jay Z, they're gonna get back to stage again tonight. So we say big um, you know, we're very sorry for whatever happened, Jay Z and Beyonce and you be fans. You're not supposed to go attack artists on stage. If you have a beef with them, you can settle it amicably than just um attack them on stage. It's a very bad thing to do. Can you wear surprises? Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian West with a brand new two hundred and forty Dallas Mercedes neon track. There's so many more news we have coming your way. Let's go for a quick commercial break. Stay tuned. Hello, my name is Amata Maklu, CEO of Food 101. Food is very essential to every human life. At Food 101, we provide you with healthy, delicious meals. We cook for corporate bodies, individuals, events, parties, corporate organizations. To receive our menu daily, text add me to 020-817-5025. You receive our menu for the day that consists of about 12 different dishes. Text back your preferred dish and it will be delivered to you at your doorstep, at your office, at your home, anywhere you are at no extra fee. Food 101, we are your healthy food partner. Welcome back from that quick commercial break. Can you buy surprises? Kim Kardashian was with a brand new Mercedes Neon truck. 
Can you wear surprised white Kim Kardashian with a VIP gift this weekend? Now, the social media beauty got quite the thrill on Saturday when her rapper fashion designer husband, Kanye, gave her a new line Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. Mrs. Kardashian, was 37, was over the moon while showing her 240k dollars luxury SUV with her Instagram followers telling everybody how she first fell in love with the car while driving it in Miami. Oh my gosh, I just got out of the gym and was surprised by this new baby, she said, swarming over the car. I loved it so much in Miami, so I kept talking about it. Oh, look who surprised me with this baby, Kim said, panning the camera over to Kanye. You guys, I got the track of my dreams because I was so excited in Miami. She continued. So yes, we can see that now Kim Kardashian has a matching car with her half-sister Kylie Jenner. The Kardashians are actually doing stuff. You know, um, recently on post, Kylie Jenner was educating Kim Kardashian on how to um, combine the color of her car with her fashion sense. And this is all what the, the Kardashians actually do, you know, fashion um flash and kylie jenner is one expert of that so she was actually educating her big sis on how to move around with the car since she got her own before kim got hers moving on to our next story drake brings out tori Lanez at new york city drake brought out tori Lanez to perform his song shooters at the medicine square garden friday night after taking over his hometown of Toronto, Canada this week, Drake's Oprah and the Three Michaels tour rolled into the New York City Friday nights for the first of the four nights event at Madison Square Garden. Just like he did with Travis Scott and Shaq West earlier this week, Dweezy decided to bring out another special guest in and that is Tori Lanez this Friday to perform his hit record, Shooters. And if the concert wasn't enough, Drake called Tori his motherfucking brother, which was, we all know they have had some beef for a long time, though, but this tells us that they're actually on cool terms. He said, New York City, I want you to make some noise for my motherfucking brother from my hometown. He goes by the name Tori Lenez. He finished, he said this after Tori finished his performance. Drake is set to return to the Garden City on, um, on Saturday night for the second of his four-night concert, all of which are sold out. Don't be surprised if another surprise guest comes on this night, this weekend, especially being it in New York. Moving on to our next story, Jeremy and T.Y. Dollar Sign feature Lil Wayne on Next Level. Jeremy and T. Y. Dollar Sign New Level features Lil Wayne and we've been expecting the release of Me T, which is a joint album from Jeremy and T. White Dollar Sign. They did drop a track, but it was not up to standard. And they did follow up with this one, day, and they featured the greatest rapper of all times, and that is Lil Wayne. If you haven't listened to New Level, please, you have to listen to it. Cause Lil Wayne on a track is mad, and we have T. White Dollar Sign and Jeremy on it as well. Lil Wayne brings out Nicki Minaj and accepts Batman's apology at Louisiana Festival. Lil Wayne hosted the annual Louisiana Fest Saturday night at the New Orleans Champion Square, where the rapper brought out surprise guest Nicki Minaj and accepted an apology from Batman. The one-day fest, which doubled as a celebration of the 10th anniversary of the rapper's landmark, The Carter III, also featured performances from Yeezy, Young Boy Never Broke Again, Tori Lanez, and more. The concert streamed live on Tidal. Midnight's surprise appearance came in at the final moment of Louisiana. I want to show up for this man who gave me my career single-handedly. And this is what Nicki Minaj says. She also had other dad who was me to give Lil Wayne some babies. Minaj's brief set featured her recent verses on Feifei and YG's Big Bag. The concert also marked a public reconciliation between Lil Wayne and his long-time mentor, father figure, record mogul Brian Batman Williams. In June, the business had blood, bad blood between Lil Wayne and Batman ended when the rapper settled 
his cash money lawsuit and on Saturday, the mogul apologized to Lil Wayne for sowing their relationship. It feels amazing to be home fucking with my son. I love that nigga to death. I don't know what y'all know, but I know what's the fact I know and I know how I feel about what I know, Bateman said. I knew this day was gonna come, but I ain't know when it was gonna come. But this nigga right here, the best nigga, the realest nigga, the illest nigga, and I want to apologize to my nigga worldwide. The nigga put his life in my hands, Batman added. We are gonna do that shit till the day we die. Before they went lunch into the big timers, still fly. So this is what now Birdman and Lil Wayne saga is totally over. And Birdman has nationwide come out to apologize to um, to Lil Wayne for all that happened. We we are happy that this people are back together. You know, it's the about it's all about the Cash Money record label, and we're happy they they have we can sound so let's have a week up of our headlines if we want sex to marry next week isaac dobis calls 2020 of knocking out or take chalawati festival gets 300,000 ghana cd support from ghana from government beyonce and jay-z's concert was interrupted by a friend Kanye West surprises Kim Kardashian West with a brand new $240 Mercedes new truck. Kanye Drake brings out Tory Lanez at New York City. Jeremy and T.Y. Dollar Sign features Lil Wayne on a new level. And Lil Wayne brings out Nicki Minaj and accepts Batman's apology at Lil Louisiana. Festival. Please get trendy with us on our social media handles that is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Samwork Media. And also log on to our website www.samwork.org. It's still your girl, Nanama, and this is where we drop our curtains down on today's edition of Samwork Entertainment News.